today's vlog is something that I said that I would never do literally never but I'm taking you on a home tour and I'm just basically I don't want to give away my exact layout of my apartment because that freaks me out and I feel like that's kind of strange got to have some sort of privacy but I am gonna walk you through pieces in my place that I get questions on all of the time so we are gonna do that I have been asked so many times okay am I even gonna focus I've been asked so many times why my apartment looks the way that it does, why I don't have a ton of stuff in here, and the items that I do have, where are they from? So I'm just gonna answer everything today. Starting off with this dog. This is a husky. She was born from her mom and her dad. Okay, so this little area over here, this is really just a setup for filming. I just have a rack here with just some items on it, just a few different bodysuits that are cute, and I have this little backdrop just for the purpose of filming videos. And I love it and I like doing my Instagram stories in front of this. The funny thing about this little square of pictures right here is growing up, I always made collages like this, but to my entire bedroom, my walls from head to toe look like this. So it's fun to have this now as an adult too because it's something that I love. And then I just let my rack sit here, which you guys, my rack is from Target. It was like $20. I won't lie to you, it's not the greatest of all time, but it works, it's easy, it's simple. Now my couch. I get so many questions on this. It's just this light tone color. Yes, it's easy to take care of, even with a dog. This is from Living Spaces, I love it. I just threw some blankets over it. You can see right here though on the couch how it dips down. Ellie loves to lay specifically right there, so I have an indent. And I just threw it with some neutral tones just because that's what I like. I feel like it looks fresh and clean. Funny enough, I've gotten so many questions on this little orchid right here on whether it's real or not. This is fake and it's literally from the 99 cent store. I wanna say this was three or four dollars, but it's so cute. It looks like something you would find at Target, which I love. Then I just have some magazines, my speaker, this little money tree from my friend Yvette, the sweetest ever. I love this baby. I love faux plants because it gives some life to your space without having to worry about whether or not it's gonna survive, which I love. And I like to use this for backgrounds for Instagram stories and stuff too. You guys see my kitchen all the time and people always notice that I never really have anything on the counters. The only thing I ever have out are like these flowers and fruit in the corner or the sea salt lamp. I got this for Christmas one year. I don't really have a place to put it, so I just keep it there. I will say the wire out bothers me so much, but hey, Good energy, good vibes, we love that. And then I just have this extra vase. I don't know where I got it from, to be honest. And then these flowers I actually had when I lived back in Washington like five years ago. So those have been with me forever. And then I just like to keep a clean counter because I just feel like, ugh, I don't like clutter. I don't like clutter. Hey, over here, I always keep a candle. Right now, I just have this big one. This is from Target. It's a plant wax blend, which I've never had before, but I love it, so cute. And now, over here, I get a lot of questions as to what the small little things are. These are little photos that my parents got, Ellie and I, for Valentine's Day. They're in these little squares. They're so cute, and then they just have little leaves right here, just to bring some life to this space. Also, these little mirrors, they're honestly, too small for this wall, but I thought they were gonna look bigger than they did. That's okay, so I still have them here. Hey, these are from Target, the dollar section. I wanna say they were either $3 each or $5. They were so cheap, it gives a little something. They look so small on camera. They look smaller on camera than in person. That is so funny. Who's yelling, do you hear that? Now my bed frame itself is from Ikea. Another thing I get a lot of questions on, which I don't know, I feel like everybody kind of has this exact same bed frame. At least I've had the same one since I was 12. I have the same one at my parents' house, except it's lower to the ground. It's Ikea. I like to keep all my bedding white. I know that isn't white and it bothers me and I wanna pluck it away, but that's okay. The dresser as well is from Ikea, so they match, I love it. I also, this little area here, I love to use this whole little setup for the back of my Instagram story, so I get a ton of questions on this stuff. I just went with books that kind of had the same color scheme. I have some poetry books, a journal, a book down here. I throw on some perfumes up here, little crystals, and then this little oil diffuser. Oh, hey guys, hey. This oil diffuser is from Target, $5. So cheap, it smells so good. I love scents, and I truly love to just keep a fresh scent in the bedroom and the bathroom to something airy and light and breezy. This palm leaf, by the way, is also from Target. I have two of them next to my TV in the living room. They were super cheap and this little vase was from Target as well. The mirror, 
also from Target. Then I just have this little Google Home right here. I actually got this for free from Spotify. They were doing some deal and a bunch of people got free speakers. I just assumed that they probably weren't either weren't selling or just needed to get rid of them, so it's pretty cute. All right, now my mouth photo, my lip photo. This is from Home Goods. I'm obsessed with this. I especially love her because she has a little gap like me. I feel like, oh my gosh, it's my mouth. I love it. The only thing I will say is there's this crack down here and I didn't notice it until I came home with it and I didn't want to take it back. So if any of you have an idea on how to fill this or like squeeze it together, I just have never touched it. Let me know. But yes, that's from Home Goods. I want to say it was like 20 or 15 bucks. It was pretty cheap and it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this vibe. Such a weird place to bring someone and I realize that the lighting in here is super weird. My favorite part of my bathroom is how wide this mirror is by the way. It takes up the entire wall. But I have this little plant here, which I love. This is from Target. This was on, I got it on sale for like $5. I have another oil diffuser in here as well. Love her. It's the same scent. Hey, it's the same scent as the one in my bedroom. Hard to get the lighting on this, but this was a photo that one of the Instagram pages that is dedicated to me made for me, Liz Ryan FP. So Johanna made that the middle and my parents loved it so much that they printed it out and framed it for me and gave it to me for Christmas. How sweet. I can't forget in my bedroom, my big mirror right here. I take all my photos in. You guys see me in here all the time. I film with this baby. This is from Ikea. It was only $120. Most big mirrors I find are double, triple that price. And I really love the fact that it has the silver on the side because for some reason, I feel like because it's so thin and it's silver, it makes the mirror feel a little wider than it is. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. It makes the room feel bigger. This used to be in my living room, but then I moved it to my bedroom and I would like to have another one in my living room too. So there's my little tour bit of this video and I just wanted to say a lot of people ask me questions on why I don't have a table in here? Why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? A, let me just say, that's kind of an odd question to ask somebody. Truly, when I move again, I'll be moving states and I don't wanna move everything. I really don't and I never expected to live in Vegas for as long as I have. I kind of thought, okay, I'll give it a year, see how it goes, and if I don't like it, I'll move, but I ended up staying. I do feel really lucky. I love my apartment so much, and if I could pick up this exact apartment and take it with me wherever I go next, I would love to do that. Also, I think because I have that feeling of knowing I won't be in Vegas forever, it doesn't give me that desire to truly make this a home if this isn't my forever spot. I don't know why, because I love home decor. I love interior design. The wind is crazy. Do you hear my blinds? Oh my gosh. So until I have my forever home, I'm keeping it simple, and even then I'll probably still keep it simple, but I'll definitely have more in my future place. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love to keep it clean and light and fresh, and I love it. It's airy in here, the breeze coming in. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see other videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I feel like I'm fighting with the blinds right now. It's not even letting me do anything. Anyway, I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.